What's going on everyone? It's your boy Savvy. Welcome back to the Savvy Show. In today's episode, we got something a little different, man. We're trying something new. We're gonna be diving deep back into back rooms. And I already reacted to a live film of this. I think I, I think it should be considered a live film. It's obviously not real, but like it was, you know, it was kind of cool. Looked kind of real, if it was. But anyway, <laughs> I covered it and it was pretty dope. And it seems like you guys liked it a lot. So might as well bring it back on the channel and see if you guys want me to continue it. And if that is the case, you guys want to see more backroom reactions, please let me know by smashing that like button. Let's try to get at least 80 likes on this one. Gives me a good gauge to see how much you guys want to see of this kind of topic. And also, each like helps the channel grow and pushes my content out to more people that might enjoy my reactions. So each like is much appreciated. And also remember to smash that sub button and hit that bell so you don't miss an upload. Now with that being said, today we're diving deep into the backrooms level that everyone looks for. And on the thumbnail, it's called Backrooms Promise Land. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, it doesn't seem too scary from just first glance and the title of it so we shall see what kind of you know room is this maybe it's like a room that might seem like you know normal and then it switches up like it's all like sunshine and rainbows and then it's you know actually not the case so with that all out the way i'm excited to see what this is all about and just learning more about back rooms so yeah let's get this show started Alrighty, the back rooms level that everyone looks for let's go what is poppin' everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm gonna be going over another backrooms level, shocker, and this one is called the Promised Land. Now I'm gonna call it the Promised Land because it sounds cooler, but okay. it is from the fandom website. However, it's a pretty highly requested video that a bunch of you have been asking me for, so uh, I figured why not. No it's idea. gonna be a banger. Let's get it. The Promised Land is classified as a Class Zero and is extremely safe and secure, and it actually used to be considered a level only in Legends or Tales oh. because no one actually knew if it existed or not. Dang. But now it's been pretty much explored extensively, so most of the level is documented. The level itself is a huge building with exactly 300 floors and around 1,000 rooms that are spread throughout. And each floor has these pink glowing lights in the ceilings, which would drive me crazy, to be honest, but whatever. <laughs> these lights have been known to randomly turn on or off, so just be aware of that. Okay. And all the floors have windows that look out to the outside area, and when it turns daylight outside, the curtains and the windows will disappear, and a floor made out of clouds will appear directly outside the window. Whoa. Kind of like the floor too. of level Zenith. This cloud floor actually has these trees that- Haven't covered that. I have to keep on remembering, there's so many rooms I don't even know about because I've only seen literally one video about back rooms, so we got a lot to dive deep about if you guys want to see more of this. In the ground, and they produce a weird fruit, which you can actually Dragon eat. Fruit? The day-night cycle here is pretty much the same as real life, so the windows disappear during the day, but they'll reappear at nighttime. I mentioned earlier that there are over 1,000 room types, so here are some of them. There are bedrooms, living rooms, kitchens, dining rooms, bathrooms, infirmaries, lounges, shops, an outside area, nightclub area, the business area, and the promised land resort. Each of these areas what? are pretty much exactly how their name sounds. Resort? So I'm not going to describe them like the bedrooms, the bedrooms, the dining rooms, the dining <laughs> rooms. It's pretty simple. Okay. Now, a common question asked is, well, where did the promised land come from or how did it get figured out? Well, according to the fandom, the level's first ever mention was found on a note in level zero near a ripped partygoer's mask. The note said, quote, the last of us are here, and there was a picture of the Promised Land level next to it. What? Now, nearby that note, there was a book called The Promised Land that pretty much had all the level's explanation inside of it. Dang. Well, obviously, the level is really chill, and as soon as the book was read, rumors of this sanctuary level spread quickly throughout the back rooms. So lots of people tried to get there, but very few did. Interesting. Honestly, this room reminds me of um, Neverland from Peter Pan. I don't know why. Maybe because it's just called Promised Land and it's very similar, but it just seems like there could be a correlation, but who knows. There are only two entities here, and those are the Cloud Trees, which I mentioned earlier, and Storks which are pretty much storks from real life, except they're more intelligent and tameable. That's it. As far as bases here, there are actually a few. The first one is the Backrooms Colonists, which is just a conglomerate of colonies that are loosely linked together. 
Then there are the Forgiven FOJs, which is a group of the followers of Jerry that somehow got to the level. Jerry is everything. All hail Jerry. Father Bluebird, be with us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and as the always, heck? they're nice unless you talk trash about Jerry. Oh my Lastly, god. There's the oh, Jerry is the actual Bluebird? Bro. Reliquay Outpost. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Which is just an outpost of soldiers that fought in a war that actually happened on this level a long time ago called the Summer War. Oh, interesting. To enter this level, you can dive through a painting on level 384, but just like all of the entrances I'm about to say, it's extremely rare for them to work. And there's also a rumor that no clipping into a pink light on level negative 150 will work, but again... Okay, these attempts to actually get to the promised land could be pretty funny if you're looking at it from a third person's perspective. Like, <laughs> this is someone trying to jump through a painting and just bash their head into the wall. Bro, <laughs> I'll pay to see that low key. Again, just a rumor. It's thought that you can also fall down stairs on that big, long, numbered level that I went over a few months ago to Bro? get here. But as always, you just gotta get lucky. To exit this level, you'll actually be exiting the back rooms. So you just gotta find a door labeled exit, and when you walk through that door, you'll be at the same place where you entered the back rooms from. Pretty cool. This might be one of my favorite theorized exits because it's literally so rare. I feel like it's kind of a myth in a way, you know? It's pretty cool. Now unlike most other levels I've covered, there's actually been some documented expeditions to try to find how to get here. There are oh. six expeditions, and the first one was made by four members of the Republic back in 2004. They were sent back to level 0 after making it to level 1051. Now, the second and third expeditions were not documented, uh -huh. but the fourth one was. Ooh, we'll this see. one was made by seven people from the Backrooms Colonist Group. It happened last year in 2021, and this is marked as the first conclusive successful mission to get to the Promised Land. Because when the group made it to level 384, where that painting is, yeah. which, by the way, is an extremely safe level, a member of the group disappeared, and it's thought that they went through the painting and made it to the promised land, Yo. and feasibly out of the back rooms. The fifth expedition had five more explorers, no clip into the painting on level 384, and they haven't been heard from since. So it's just thought they either made it, or they're somewhere else. Dang. The last expedition get back, had 17 though? explorers, and it's officially known that four of them are currently in the promised land and have not escaped the back rooms. Cool. How would you know that then? Would you have to go to the back rooms to figure that out? And if they make it there, how did they get back? Hmm. Huh. So yeah, that was the back rooms level called Level Promised Land. Hope you liked it. I think it's one of the coolest ones from the fandom because it's kind of like a legend in a way, kind of like a wives tale, something like the Fountain of Youth or Davy Jones Treasure. Hope you liked it. Go. Yeah, it seems like it would be something really cool, but I mean, it didn't seem like there would be anything like crazy there. Just clouds and those type of birds. Is that really it? <laughs> Besides it being like, you know, mysterious and could be a pos and could be a myth. I don't know why anyone else would want to go. Either way, that's pretty cool. I want to learn more about um the back rooms itself. It seems really fascinating. Just the different room levels and whatever entities that could be in these rooms. It's actually kind of cool. So if you guys actually enjoy this kind of content, you want me to cover more, let me know in the comment section below and also smash that like button. Let's try to get 80 likes on this one. See how much you guys like it. And also remember, turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. And with this one, there's so much more I need to learn about back rooms. That's why it's hard to put my input in certain things I don't really understand all the way. So yeah, man, I would love to check more of these out. This is this seems really cool. So yeah, I hope you guys all have a good day or night wherever you guys are from. And unfortunately, that concludes today's episode. However, I'll catch you guys on the next one.